This printer truly is game changing and brought my faith back into 3D printing and that is the King Rune KP3S. Now just before I get into this, I'm very much going to be giving an overview of my experience with the King Rune over the last six months, but if you're wanting an in detail, all the specs and bits and all of that, go and check out Modbot's video. It's all about that. It's linked down in the description or over in the card. Truly, it's a great video, but I want to let you know truly from an honest perspective, what it's like getting started with this printer, expecting nothing from it. So now that I've said that, King Rune did send me this printer and the exchange was a little bit funny. They sent me an email saying, hey, want to try out this printer? I pretty much said, hey, look, I have no idea who you are. I was too lazy to even Google them. And they basically sent it and I said, hey, look, take a look at my review terms conditions. I can't guarantee that I'm going to do anything. If it's good, I'll point it out. If it's really bad and it's going to be bad for the community, I'm going to point it out as well. And lo and behold, this came. I put in two screws to get this thing up, uh, two screws on the thread coupler, leveled it out and put a benchy on. When this benchy came out of this printer, that's when I realized that I had something special in my hands. I don't know why the entire community isn't literally ranting and raving about this. This printer is incredible. It is budget friendly and just prints out the box like a beast. In fact, so much so that I went, okay, now that I've seen your Benchy, let's see how good you really are. And I gave it a torture toaster straight out stock. Haven't calibrated this at all. Just leveled it everything all the way to the point one just straight up worked. Now, of course, I was wondering maybe it's under extruding. So then I gave it my tolerance crystal tower tolerance here and it's got the magnetic base. It sticks onto things like no tomorrow. It can be a good thing and a bad thing. So if you're doing fragile things like this, it can be a little bit tricky to get things off, but I'd rather have a build plate like this that's super sticky. And this here, the ring goes all the way up, doesn't come off, which means that it's not under extruding and has a tolerance of pretty much 0.1 or maybe even less because all the way up here at the very top, the tolerance is zero. So I don't know what to say. It is incredible. This printer has been a champ. It's done everything brilliantly, even vase mode. Sometimes with the power loss recovery, it leaves little blobs. Nope. Perfect. And by the way, if you're wondering what filament I'm using, this is the PLA from King Rune and it just comes out silky smooth. I've never had a printer do that before with the linear rails. Everything's just perfect. It is solid, really solid for this design. There are a couple of caveats though that I'm not too happy about and I'll tell you them right now, which is the power supply is separate like this. Now, this can be a pain, but at the end of the day, we're makers, we can just create an enclosure for it, but it's a little bit noisy. Yeah, that, 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 that would get annoying. And on top of that, the lovely cooling fan has a lovely little whine to it. Now it does depend on which exact frequency it's on, but I definitely wouldn't want this in my workshop right next to it all the time because it would definitely get on my nerves. And lastly is where the filament comes in. It is filament on plastic and that is going to wear away. In fact, it already started wearing away. So then I put the filament up above on a shelf and then that's been perfectly fine. But that is a perfect little mod right here. You just 3D print that. There's already files on the internet for that and that would sort that out. I personally am probably going to put a little tiny copper tube just epoxy that in there and then that's going to be that. But truly, this printer is incredible. Uh, a direct drive at a budget price. I've thrown flexible filaments into it and it's just done it like a champ. I don't have anything here flexible, unfortunately, because I gave it to a friend who's using for his drone. But truly, even the overhang stock with this cooling go all the way to 60 and it's just 
I've never had a 3D printing experience like this. In fact, it's thanks to this printer that I feel like I can get on with 3D printing once again. I was this close to throwing in the towel with 3D printing because I even gave myself a temperature controlled workspace, a humidity controlled workspace, spent months learning about leveling, using mesh beds, you name it, I've done it. And even still then, you can't print to the extremities of a build plate because of warping or some sort of problem, whatever. There's obviously always a problem. Most of the time it's user error because you don't know the mountain of settings you need. However, with the KP3S, you basically, it doesn't really matter. It's already looking out for you. It's not expecting for you to get the absolute perfect bed leveling. That's why you've got a bed that grips like no tomorrow. It doesn't matter if you don't have everything perfectly aligned because it's going to try and align itself as perfect as it can for you with the linear rails and all the rest. This thing is a beast. It is rigid. It is heavy. It's about, what, five kilos or so, or maybe even more. And it's got a small footprint. It is perfect for makers. And I cannot stop ranting and raving about it. I wish I had this printer when I first got started because I can literally print end to end and I have over this entire bill plate and not a problem. In fact, this is now the printer that I go to. This is my go-to printer. If I want something printed and I don't want to worry about it, I go get the file online or design it in Blender or whatever, get it onto my STL, whack it in here, set it to print and walk off because I just know that this is going to deliver. And I can very happily say that in the six months that I've had this, I have not had a single print failure that isn't user error. In other words, the design of the print that I put on it. So yeah, that there, King Rune KP3S, I cannot say enough good things about it. Yeah, sure, it's not perfect, but it's budget friendly. It looks out for you. The fact that you can get things like this straight out stock is incredible. One thing Modbot said that the magnetism on his build plate went for me, it didn't go at all. And I really have been using this. And yeah, it is very grippy though. So be careful with that. If you're interested in getting one, there's a link down in the description. <clears throat> Truly, this is the printer that I'm gonna be getting more of. In fact, I might even make myself a print farm of them. That's how reliable they are. And I wish I had this when I got started. A huge thank you to my patrons. You guys are absolutely awesome. And without you, I truly wouldn't be able to make Maker Tales. And if you're enjoying what I'm making here and you think I'm worthy of your support, I would love to see you there too. Remember that we have a Discord and that's linked down in the description. Thank you for watching. Keep making and let the quest continue.